In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an appointment slot on your calendar and then how to use those appointment slots in your calendar to upload them to your Google site. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your Google Calendar and suppose that we want to add some tutorial slots to Monday between 9 and 10 a.m. I'm going to click 9 a.m. and start dragging down until it says 10. And then I'm going to click appointment slots up at the top. I'm going to name the appointment slots, tutorials, or whatever you'd like to name it. And you can either offer it as a single appointment slot, or you can offer it in certain time increments. I like to use 15 minutes personally, because sometimes students just have a quick question and they want to sign up for a short time. And sometimes they need 45 minutes or 30 minutes, etc. So this gives a little bit more flexibility. Click Create. And you can actually do this several times. Like if I did it right here, I could create an appointment slot maybe from 12 to 1. Let's go ahead and do this. And it creates appointment slots. Every time you create one, it's linked to your appointment calendar. So what we're going to do now is after you've created your appointment slots where you want them, I'm going to click on it, Edit Details. And the calendar's appointment page is right here. So we're going to copy this link because we're going to need this here in a little bit. So highlight that and right click it, click copy. If you'd like to, you can also repeat it. I like to do this, especially if I know I'm going to have the same times every single week. And you can select the options you want to have that particular tutorial time repeat over and over again. So which days and how many occurrences. So again, copy the link, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google site, and let's go to a test page. So go to your Google site, go to the page you want to use in order to have your calendar for your appointment slot show up. And you're going to click Edit Page. Go over to Insert, see in the upper left-hand corner. And under Gadgets, one of the options, there's three dots. It says More Gadgets. Click on that. Click on Public. It's the second option down. Click on Include Gadget iframe, second option down. Click Select. And then under UI, URL, in this blank box right here, you're going to paste your appointment calendar link. You can change the size of it. You have some options here if you'd like. You can use a scroll bar if you'd like. It allows them to scroll up and down if it's necessary. And I'm going to go ahead and go preview first. Let's just make sure it's going to look right. So showing some tutorial times for Friday. There they are. It's showing tutorial times for next week now, too, the ones I just got through adding. So all the tutorial times I've added are now showing up. Click OK. Click Save. Now, here's the weird part. You're going to see your entire calendar when you're logged in as you on your Google site, plus your tutorial times. But if somebody goes to that site from another account, so I'm logging in under my personal Google account. What they're going to see is just, or rather are, just the tutorial times. So let's go ahead and click on one of the slots. Let's just click on from the 12 to 12.15 slot. So I click on that. And I'm going to say, because let's suppose Fred's signing up for tutorials. So. I'm logged in as a test student, pretending I'm a student. This is what the student would see. They click OK. If the student is logged in under the student account, then they should receive an email reminding them that they've signed up for the appointment. And the tutorial appointment should just show up. And I don't know if you heard that little ding on my phone. It should also show up on their personal calendar. So I've signed in. I've signed up as a student. Let's go ahead and go back to our Google Calendar. It didn't work earlier when I tried this. Um, let's see if it updated immediately. Last time it did not. So let's try this out. So I'm on my teacher account calendar. Pretending like I'm the teacher. And hopefully the 12 to 12, 15 slot, if I clicked on it, it should show who signed up. 
So if you look at right there, I signed up, and if I look, click on who, it should show me right here. So if the student's signing up using their GCISD student account, the good news is it will show their actual name. If they're sh signing up with their individual accounts, well, you'll have to kind of guess who it was that signed up for that particular tutorial slot. All right, well, that's pretty much it.